Uh, greetings everyone, this is The Chew Show. We're Evil Guacamole Gaming. Uh, I am Devil's Avocado here with... Salty. Dog and... Shrimp. Huh? Dog Shrimp. <laughs> Salty <laughs> Dog Shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> With our special guest. That was me. I'm special. Well, now. I was... Don't you say special? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Emmy from Knitting Snail Cat on YouTube. Putting up with these fuckers. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, we both have kids, so that's technically true. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? I must not have heard it. We both had, uh, uh, she said, uh, putting up with these two fuckers, which I said. Oh, I thought she said stalkers. Oh. No. No. <laughs> Why, Thomas, do you know where I live? Are you in, outside my window? Are you eating chips outside my window? Yep. They're not, not they're not actually coming through that tone. <laughs> is that <laughs> what that echo is? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Tom. Stuck on your own time. I can't deal with the feedback from your mic. Let me get out of my way. I'm trying to look too. <laughs> Just wants to see what cards you're using. Um, <laughs> I got my laptop. Oh, this one's definitely gonna win. Oh, dang it! I'm bad at this. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Well, let's get to game. Having problems with blank? Try blank. <laughs> God. <laughs> this is terrible. Everybody at home, I just want you to imagine a salted shrimp dog sitting in a chair eating chips, giggling evilly to himself. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to imagine that. <laughs> draw it. Somebody draw it. <laughs> and... This will be Thomas's new face. <laughs> and we will make sure he gets plastic surgery to look <laughs> like you're drawing. As long as I don't get the medical procedure that goes along with my card. I'm I'm I can't make any promises, Thomas. Oh, then I really should change my cards. <laughs> but I mean I already have a chip in my hand, so I don't know how I could do that. <laughs> And so I have a chip in one hand, and my other hand is resting on my knee, so they're, they're both busy. Very, very busy. Mm -hmm. Oh. Having problems with a botched circumcision? <laughs> Try dying alone. <laughs> <laughs> Having problems with destroying the evidence? Try fire. Lots of it. <laughs> okay, both are good, and the second set is a better narrative, but dying alone in pain. With a bunch Damn of it. <laughs> I immediately wanted to use the blank cards. <laughs> you tried. Uh, you tried. Yeah. I blew my load early. Heh. <laughs> Uh, well, with that procedure, you might not ha have to. <laughs> a successful job interview begins with a firm handshake and ends with blank. And ends with fire. Lots of it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a couple of good ones. Uh... I'm fairly proud of mine. A successful job. Interview begins with a firm handshake and ends with a remarkably convincing argument for slavery. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> a successful job interview begins with a firm handshake and ends with crazy opium eyes. If I knew, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's true. In, in, cor in corporate America, opium. that's very accurate. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, ooh, a triple. You want to keep it? Uh, give me 
me another one. Oh wait, that's uh, wait, it's me. It's oh yeah, wait. Yeah, no, I I don't want to do that. Okay. Ah, this I do want to do. I'm so stoned. I thought it was me. Mm hmm. Hey. <laughs> blank would be woefully incomplete without blank. Zeus's sexual appetites would be woefully incomplete without the homosexual agenda. <laughs> Pussy would be woefully incomplete without the clitoris. <laughs> Man, they're both very true. <laughs> but which one might throw lightning bolts? <laughs> As an owner of vagina, I can guarantee the lightning bolts exist. <laughs> and so it sounds like a tie. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit of a tie. Yeah. Tie goes to homosexual. I'm giving it to Tom <laughs> because you're gonna have plenty of points. <laughs> you're too good at this. Oh, I'm I'm still in the lead with an overall twenty four. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. A fortune teller told me I will live a life filled with blank. This sounds like the most fun. <laughs> oh, oh man, God. Tom. <laughs> God damn it, Tom. <laughs> how, do, how, how do you know which one is mine? <laughs> Just your chip goblin. Oh. Sorry a fortune teller told me that I will live a life filled with unfathomable stupidity. <clears throat> this is a... No, keep going. <laughs> a fortune teller told me I will live a life filled with sweet, sweet vengeance. Honestly, <laughs> I have to deal with so much stupidity every day. It is amazing. The well, less now. But... But here's my argument against that, uh, that winning card of Tom's. Um, this, this seems like a very lazy fortune teller, or maybe yeah. a very good one, because it's like, yeah, congratulations, you're alive. You're gonna have to live a life filled with unfathomable stupidity. <laughs> you're alive and mildly intelligent. Welcome to hell. Yeah. Uh, I get it. But at the same time, a good fortune teller will tell you something that applies to everyone so that they're always well, right. Well, I am a fortune teller. Remember, I do tarot. Oh, that's right. <laughs> but there are sham artists out there. I fucking hate them. Anyway. Uh, anyway, I think... Unfathomable stupidity is the funnier one. Yeah. Yee! Congratulations, Tom. You're winning this round. Whoa. That's I far. Blow, I better not blow my lead all in one place. <laughs> in a pinch, blank can be a suitable substitute for blank. In a pinch, the eight gay warlocks who dictate the rules of fashion can be a suitable substitute for the male case. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in a pinch the swim team all at once can be a suitable substitute for desperate grinder meetups <laughs> god these are like weirdly sci sort of related <laughs> this is this strangely got real gay <laughs> <laughs> they were both really good <laughs> I'm on the board <laughs> here is the church here is the staple Open the door, and there is blank. <laughs> Extra consideration if it rhymes. Uh, excuse me. Which I think is probably unlikely, but it might. There are the white people, black people, and brown people cards, so. It's possible. <laughs> Tom remembers one of the uh, <laughs> <coughs> this was actually one of Bacon's ideas <laughs> here's the church here's the steeple open the door and there is interracial 88 mile per hour lawyers 
Here's the church, here's the steeple. Open the door and there is my first kill. <laughs> <laughs> first kill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right, you don't like references. No, the reference is fine. It just... <laughs> I it was. It was actually. Anyone, huh? I never saw anyone able to use that card. <laughs> oh, Daddy, why is Mommy crying? <laughs> Actual fathers, answer me. Uh. uh <laughs> then I need to dump the entire hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I didn't really want that card. That was the one I didn't want. Uh, this is just... This is real and sad. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, why is Mommy crying? A disappointing birthday party. <laughs> That's my dad's voice. Yeah. Daddy, why is Mommy crying? Literally eating shit. <laughs> <laughs> I really need to X out cards before I dump them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's go with the sad one. <laughs> <coughs> this is a pretty even game. In M. Night Shyamalan's new movie, Bruce Willis discovers that blank had really been blank all along. This just sounds like a fun story. Oh, wait, I should clear out some of this shit first. <laughs> I didn't think I could turn something funny, but I did. In M. Night Shyamalan's new movie, Bruce Willis discovers that my dad's dumb fucking face <laughs> had really been wa waking up half-naked in a Denny's parking lot all along. <laughs> That's really hard to say without <laughs> laughing. <laughs> In M. Night Shyamalan's new movie, Bruce Willis discovers that Michael Jackson had really been being a motherfucking sorcerer all along. Wasn't that hmm. Shazam? No, that was Shaq. <laughs> oh, shit. But I got my basketball players doing kids' movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Michael Jackson's that. You think Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan? Oh, shit. Literally eating it. Uh, uh, I don't know which one to do. They're, they're so good with totally inappropriate things. Well, uh, lose your mind. That's what I've done. <laughs> nice. I'm mixing up Michael Jackson with Michael Jordan and Michael Jordan with Shaq. Christ. <laughs> it's not like either of them had good movie careers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <I'm> gonna... Ah. Ah. <laughs> uh. Brittany won this once with. Uh, you haven't truly lived until you experienced a dead baby and double penetration at the same time. Oh, no! She was pregnant at the time. Uh. <laughs> you haven't truly lived until you've experienced getting naked and watching Nickelodeon and ejaculating into another man's <laughs> wife at the same time. <laughs> Oh man, that's a story. True story. You know, I've <laughs> nearly done the, the, but that's a different story. <laughs> um, <laughs> this Cartoon Network and well, they're fully <coughs> naked, but <laughs> but the other half of the story was right. <laughs> well, they weren't married yet. Anyway, you haven't truly lived until you've experienced copping a feel and finally finishing up the Indians at the same time. Uh. Isn't that the story of Custer's Revenge? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> video games. No. One of the worst video games ever created. <laughs> what did yeah. you say, Sunset Riders? No, uh, Custer's Revenge. Oh. Because I kind of feel like it's the same in uh, Sunset Riders. What, capping a field and finishing off the Indians? Same <laughs> yeah. When you go into the saloon. <laughs> I don't remember Sunset Riders well enough. 
I do know that the entire point of uh, of Custer's Revenge is to rape a Native American woman. Yeah. 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 So that's a game? Yeah. Yes, for the Atari. Oh, okay. So it's like Back when they had weird too. pornish games that, like, they, they weren't actually detailed enough to be any good. <laughs> but... I actually agree. This is part of my life philosophy, so I'm gonna go with this. <laughs> I didn't have very good cards. <laughs> that that was still an interesting uh, uh, story there. <laughs> oh my god! No, get this white lady post off of here. No, to be clear, well, I mean, this is kind of like that, but this is the six things I could never do without. Is from uh, uh what's that dating? Okay, uh, Cupid. Okay, Cupid. I I know, but this looks like something a middle-aged white lady would put on her Facebook, and all of her friends would be like, "Ha ha, you're so wild." Ah, Netflix, and finally finishing off the Indians. <laughs> <laughs> Why uh, advice from a wise old black man? Are we Are we doing this? Uh, this. No, card give me another one. Give me another one. Oh, okay. James is a lonely boy, but when he discovers a secret door in his attic, he meets a magical new friend. <laughs> this, 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 this is just stupid and ridiculous. I love it, though. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but when he discovers a secret door in his attic, he meets a magical new friend. Being on fire. <laughs> if if he, you if you uh give a man a fire, you keep him warm uh for an evening. If you set a man on fire, you'll keep him warm for the rest of his life. <laughs> <laughs> James is a lonely boy when he discovers a secret door to that he meets a magical new friend, Viagra. <laughs> Is <laughs> that why James legit. is a lonely boy? <laughs> because he can't get it up? <laughs> now he was a lonely, lonely boy before. Now he's got Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> now not only am I lonely, but I don't know what to do with myself for the next four hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I took this to get stoned, and all I have is a rock-hard cock. Not what I wanted. <laughs> and I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, hey. Oh. Stop. Mm -hmm. It's okay to be gay. Let's rejoice <laughs> with the boys in the gay way.